Hey everyone, it's Miss Seichter. So today I will be talking about symmetry and how symmetry can help you with your repoussé metal tile design. Symmetry is when you can cut an image or a composition in half and both sides will look like mirror images of the other. So that line that splits something in half is called the line of symmetry. And sometimes there's one line of symmetry, sometimes there's many. So the one type I'm going to start talking with is bilateral symmetry. So bilateral symmetry is when you split an image in half only once so that you have two equal halves. So think about bi like a bicycle. Um, bicycles get that word because they have two wheels. So bi. So a bilaterally symmetrical design will have two parts that are mirror images of each other. So if I wanted to make a uh, kind of like a preliminary sketch brainstorming composition that I'm trying to decide which of these several designs I will choose for my final project, I might take something very small, a small piece of paper or a small sticky note, for example, and fold that in half. Now I don't want it to stay stuck if you're using a sticky note, so make sure it's not too sticky. So that fold is my line of symmetry. And on one side of that fold, I'm going to do a composition or a design here. Now keep in mind, these will probably be used as a way to transfer your design onto your uh, tin foil. So whatever size you choose here is going to be about the size of tin foil you use. So this being my line of symmetry, I'm going to probably choose a, for this time anyway, an organic shape. Now maybe my whole design is circular. If I want it to be circular, if I want my final repoussé tile to be a circular tile, maybe draw out that you want it to be circular. I'm drawing pretty lightly in case I have to erase. So inside of that circular shape, maybe I want to give it a border. And I'm going to draw my inspiration from flowers. So I'm going to be drawing. And this is like a, a, a bit of a rough sketch, but if this is my design that might be transferred onto my final repoussé tile, I do want to take care with it. Now I'm using a tracing table because in a little bit I'm going to have to transfer part of my design, but if you don't have a tracing table, which I would be surprised if you did, you can use the light that comes through your window as a tracing board as well, or a tracing table. So now that my design is figured out, and again, you can use a window and hold this up to a window and do the same thing, maybe tape it down. Um, I can trace what that design on the other side looks like for my bilateral design that is inspired by organic shapes. And think about organic like anything that looks like it comes from nature, anything that has flowy, curvy, swirls or lines or shapes. And sometimes when you're only drawing half of it, it's hard to tell what the other side is going to look like until the whole thing's opened up. But this would be what my design that is bilaterally symmetrical would look like. Now, if you want to experiment with radial symmetry, you're going to not want bilateral or just one line of symmetry. You're gonna want multiple. So instead of folding it in half once, I'm gonna fold it in half two or three times. The more you fold it in half, the more complicated your design is going to be. So, 
in order for this to work, you have to figure out and remember what part is the middle here. So that when I fold it in half, I made that little mark where the middle is, I can make my design radiate like radial symmetry from the middle. So for this one, I think I'm going to do something a little more geometric. And I like the idea of drawing a border here, but you really don't have to. So I'm going to use a lot of straight lines. A lot of shapes that have names like triangles or rectangles or squares, even circles. So this may not look like much, it may not look like a complicated design, but if I open it and see how I can fold it so that I can use this to trace onto other sides. So I'm folding it in half the other way and transferring my design. Now, so far I have two squares of my radial design figured out. That'll make it easy for me to fold it in half like I once did with my bilateral symmetrical design. And this is another design where it's kind of hard to tell what it'll look like until it's open. But think for a moment how many things in nature might have bi uh, radial symmetry. Bilateral symmetry is all around in human faces and in, um, in, in bodies, um, in butterfly wings. Most mammals are bilaterally symmetrical. But radial symmetry, you'll find a lot of that in things like sea stars or sea urchins, or if you cut open an orange and look at the inside, it radiates from the middle. And the middle part right here seems a little empty. Maybe I want to fill that with something. It's not too late for me to do that. So the last type of symmetry is kind of a uh, lack of symmetry. Asymmetry means there is no line of symmetry and nothing can look the same on either side. So I will not be folding this one in half, but making all sorts of strange patterns and shapes and designs. So if you've ever done a Zentangle, maybe you want to do something similar here where you separate it into several different sections. And inside of each of those sections, think about how you can fill that with maybe more shapes or lines or patterns. So over here, maybe I do scales. Keep in mind, you don't want this to be too small or have too many fine, tiny details because you're going to have to transfer this onto tinfoil eventually. So if your details are so tiny that you really need the most sharpened, maybe mechanical pencil possible to create it, it might be too detailed for your, for your final design. Maybe over here I have something that's a little bit more, instead of a repeating scale design, maybe a repeated line pattern. Maybe here I have something that's more inspired by ocean waves. But I do want to keep it, if you are inspired by a Zentangle design, relatively contained inside of the space that I made it. If you don't want to go the route that I'm demonstrating, but you do want yours to be uh, asymmetrical, 
then you don't have to follow my route to make something a little bit more abstract like this. Maybe I'll have overlapping shapes. And think about all the things in nature that are asymmetrical. Now, um, things like uh, humans or tigers or, or flowers, those all have at least one point of symmetry among those. But asymmetry can be found in maybe coral or rock formations. Maybe I want to repeat another design over here that I did over here. Who knows? So this is how I made all of my different patterns and designs by getting something relatively small, like a sticky note, um, and if I made mine bilaterally symmetrical, I folded it in half once and used some light source, like a window, to trace on the other side. Maybe you want something a little bit more, um, uh, something that looks like a mandala. Um, you can fold it in half two or three times for something like this. And if you don't like any of those ideas and you want something a little more freeform, you can choose to do something that is asymmetrical as well. So good luck creating your design.